It's time for another episode of Savoring Sacramento, where we highlight great food and the awesome stories behind those making culinary masterpieces in our community. In this episode, we're embracing the flavors of summer, from barbecue smoked to perfection to frozen treats that hit the spot during the heat of the day. And what screams summer more than ice cream? We're in Sacramento's Curtis Park neighborhood, where a shop is serving their original recipe from the 1940s. Let's check out Gunther's Ice Cream. A scoop that transports you back to your childhood, and with one taste, the smiles return. A trip to Gunther's Ice Cream is a tradition in Sacramento. Flavors packed with history, the shop serving the Sacramento area since 1940. Number 47? A smooth, creamy treat that keeps locals coming back and attracts new visitors to their Franklin Boulevard shop. The neon sign, the beacon of this historic landmark. Not only do they serve ice cream and novelty frozen treats at their retro shop, but it's also where the magic happens. It is made right here, right in house, uh, with recipes that have been perfected over the last 84 years. Some of their original flavors are still around, like butter brickle, a toffee flavored ice cream, and their 16% butterfat cream is what makes their recipe so special. It's flavored and churned, then mix-ins are added, and their staff knows how to pack a tub in seconds flat. Gunther's makes their ice cream daily. The tubs are topped and then off to delivery trucks for wholesale or to the freezer to get ready for hungry customers to dig into. Gunther's always has around 50 flavors on tap, plus their fruit freezes, so there's a little something for everyone. My favorite, the black raspberry marble. A little fruity, a little creamy, you can't go wrong with that. You can check out a full list of their flavors at guntherscecream.com. But why stop here when there's so many great ice cream spots around the region? Our next stop, Davis Creamery, a local staple making small batch handcrafted ice cream daily. No matter the season, the ice cream keeps churning at Davis Creamery. We make ice cream every day, seven days a week. Jennifer Schmidt and her husband have owned the small business on E Street for around nine years, and they're always coming up with new flavors. Their tea-flavored ice creams are some of their most popular, and Jennifer took us into the back to show us how their Thai tea ice cream is made. We actually soak the leaves overnight, you can see they're just actual tea leaves. Once sifted, the mix goes into the machine. Here goes the Thai tea. Where in just minutes, it takes on a new life. They make their own vegan ice cream and sorbets as well. And there's no shortage of flavors. They even let you decide what they'll serve up next. Each year, they hold a flavor-making competition, and anyone can submit their ideas. This year's winner, or Chata Chai. It's a lot of fun. Some of our most popular flavors are from customers. Previous winners include Strawberry Oreo, Kit Kat Nutella, and Brigadero, a chocolate ice cream with condensed milk. Their flavors rotate, so your sweet tooth will always be satisfied. I'm a big believer in eating dessert first, but if you're ready for our main course, let's take a trip over to El Dorado County, where a barbecue spot is getting national attention. I'm going to eat this first, but I'll meet you there. We're in Placerville for our next bite, and let me tell you, these smokers are working overtime because that aroma of barbecued meat is making me hungry. And get this, the shop's Texas-style barbecue even caught the attention of Food Network, so you know it's going to be good. We're here at Hogwild Barbecue. Let's dig in. sandwich potato salad. When the barbecue comes out, customers are chomping at the bit, ready to taste the smoky, meaty masterpieces at Hogwild Barbecue in Placerville. And the customers can't rave enough about their Texas-style barbecue. Oh, I think it's great. I'm originally from Texas, and so barbecue is kind of my thing. Open since 2010, this family-owned business on Main Street is known for their brisket. A little fatty, a little lean as it should be. Thank you. The brisket today is as good as, I think, as good as we've ever had. And during lunchtime, the phone rings off the hook. Hi, thanks for calling Hawk Wild. But to get the meat looking this good, the day starts much earlier. My earliest pit master's here at 5 o'clock in the morning, so to get those briskets on, to get the ribs on, chicken. 
Out back, their brisket is cooked low and slow, 16 hours on a wood smoker, and just look at that bark. Our brisket, when you see it, it has a beautiful layer of bark and a layer of fat. So that perfect piece is a combination of all of that. The restaurant's signature dish puts their brisket in the spotlight. The angry pit master. The sandwich is piled high with chopped brisket. <laughs> topped with pulled pork, cheese, jalapenos, house-made coleslaw, and grilled onions. And everyone has their favorite item on the menu, from ribs to chicken. No matter the meat, though, their motto. We serve our meat naked, sauces on the side. The meat should really be so good that you don't need sauce. Although, sauce is amazing. We have three different sauces, our original, our spicy, and our chipotle. And the restaurant is getting national attention. Hog Wild Barbecue was recently featured on Guy Fieri's show, Best Bite in Town, launched this year on Food Network. They scored a place in the top three. We were thrilled to be a part of the show. It was a great opportunity to showcase what the team does here and the amazing foods scene here in Placerville. The restaurant also made it onto Yelp's list of top 100 barbecue spots for 2024. It's not done like this anywhere else. Daniel Ocampo and his wife Nicole from Placerville know why, even making Hogwild Barbecue part of their big day. They catered our wedding. We fell in love with the food. Food that's stirring up an appetite in Placerville and beyond. Hogwell Barbecue is open Wednesday through Saturday from 11.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Sunday until 5. But they do sell out, so make sure you come in early and check them out. You can find out what's cooking on their website, hogwildbarbecue.com. And if all this talk of grilling has got you needing to cool off, our next bite will surely do the trick. We're talking shaved ice, and our next bite looks as good as it tastes. We're here at Brew Tea Cafe in Elk Grove, where they are piling the toppings high on their Korean and Japanese shaved ice dessert. What could be better on a hot day than a frozen treat? And Brew Tea Cafe knows how to bring it when it comes to shaved ice. The shop on Elk Grove Florin Road is owned by husband and wife team Trenton and Tran Norgard. The concept born from their love of food as well as their trips to bubble tea and shaved ice shops in their dating years. I wanted to create a fun place for people to hang out, enjoy dessert and quality drinks. The showstopper, their Bing Su, a milk-based Korean shaved ice dessert. So what makes our shop a little bit different and Bing Su a little bit different than other shaved ice is that the ice is very fluffy, like a fresh snow, so it just melts in your mouth. And they're known for their toppings. Their tiramisu Bing Su is layered with cocoa and coffee powder, then topped with an entire piece of tiramisu with house-made mascarpone cream. And the flavor combinations don't end there. We've got mango coconut, uh, strawberry cheesecake, chocolate, Thai tea. We're in Southside Park for our final bite, checking out a Sacramento summer staple, the shaved ice window at Osaka-ya. It's busy in the kitchen at Osaka-ya. When the weather heats up, locals flock to the Japanese confection shop for shaved ice. I got watermelon. A seasonal treat with a loyal fan base. It was pretty hot today, so it felt really good to get a snow cone. The shop has been around for more than 60 years, and while you might know them for their handmade mochi, Yoshio Murakami, whose family owns Osaka-ya, tells us shaved ice is also a big part of their history. Well, that's also been since we opened as well. It used to only be three flavors, and then since then we've been adding on more. Now with 16 different flavors, and they make all of their syrups in-house. Their most popular flavor is Tiger's Blood, a combination of strawberry, watermelon, and coconut. Customers can also get ice cream and mochi in their snow cones and top them with condensed milk. I do get a lot of people saying, oh yeah, my friend recommended it to me, and I feel happy knowing that people are saying that they enjoy our snow cones. Some people are saying that they've been coming for like uh, 40 years, or since the start, 60 years, they used to know my grandpa and grandma. Pretty amazing to know that they've been coming around for over 50 years, 60 years. 
Osakiya's shaved ice window is open Sunday through Friday from 11.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Mondays until 5 o'clock p.m. That's all for this episode of Savoring Sacramento. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to see more features just like this one, you can check out our ABC 10 Plus app for Roku, Amazon Fire TV, and Apple TV. There you'll find the latest newscasts and headlines. You can stay up to date on the weather for the week ahead and see all the great stories we're working on right here at ABC 10. Thanks again for watching and happy eating. Weekday mornings on ABC 10. I know what we're doing. We're getting you ready. Oh, you're going to know first about the breaking news that affects you. What happened overnight right here in Northern California and across America. Plus my 10 day forecast helping you plan and keeping you safe. That's how we do morning. So you're ready to take on the day. ABC 10 morning news and good morning America right here on ABC 10. See you weekday morning starting at five. If you have a problem, 10 on your side is here to help. You're the first person that ever called me back. <laughs> Out of anyone in 17 years, he's the first person who's ever stood there and actually did something for me. Had I not gotten you involved, I may still be arguing with PG&E over an $857 bill. It was, you know, we just are, are so grateful for, for what you, you guys have done. Watch 10 on your side weeknights at 6, only on ABC 10.